Welcome back once again to another edition of Let's Play WWE uh, 2004. Once again, Sam, thank you for coming back. For sure, man. As now we are officially on the last show before the Royal Rumble. Which is this Sunday night. <gasps> In game, of course. Oh, yeah, Royal Rumble right around the corner. The road to WrestleMania begins at the Royal Rumble. Yep. <laughs> Nothing else for us to do than jump right into uh, tonight's, uh, tonight's shows. Uh oh, something happened. Yeah. Of course it was Nydia. Of course, she probably like never mind, it'll be nice. Uh she showed up in regular clothes. Uh but did she look <laughs> hot though is the question? Uh, nothing noteworthy happened. Cause who really cares if you know you break the dress code? Okay. Well, we are on. Uh, ignore these two. They're not supposed to be here. Um, can I? Can I pull them on to? Yeah, I can. Well, there you go. Then you can do that. I didn't know you could do that either. I thought it had to be when you do it, um, in the I think she's in developmental. Oh, it's okay, we don't need her. Yeah. Let's get Rocket Con instead. Make her the freak. <laughs> the SEC and Punk is a local talent? Uh, no, developmental. Let's do the paper you made of it on velocity. Well, um, let's talk about Kimura on velocity. But wait, so what are we doing? We're uh, where are we? Where are, where are we with Samoa Joe? Uh, I think are we still hyping him up, or has he debuted yet? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, we didn't want to debut both of them on the same night. Right, but I thought we were gonna do a video package about Joe or something. I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. Like the main event, though. Oh, uh. Yeah, but we didn't want to debut both of them on the yeah, same no, day. Yeah, that makes sense. So we uh. Cancelled any Samoa Joe plans. Oh, Sid Vicious. Mm. Oh, we were just here um, in the Mid South uh, region for Raw. Yeah, because I remember some of these guys. I think we took Butch for Raw. I don't remember what he did, but... Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think we used uh, Gunner on Raw, too. Or uh, on Heat. I only remember because of the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Can we take him? We can. Okay. I don't know what getting Jake Cry... You know, Jake Christ... Uh, I can put him against Shinsuke Nakamura in the Jobber Squash match. We can. 
Um, and then put Shinsuke uh, domination. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's gonna help. <laughs> Stupid game. <laughs> um. No. Oh, you just killed the game. Um. We could do a John Cena promo. We could. Oh, is he too big? Is he too big time for? Um, well, let's look for matches here. Let's go. Um, um, let's keep Jeff Hardy on velocity for now until we trust him. Okay, that makes sense. Cause I mean, if I remember, I think he did fine. Last week he was fine, but I think before that he was what? on drugs. This week, um. I mean, he's a lot more uh, reliable than Rob Van Dam. Oh, that's a good match, actually. Jeff Hardy does incredible. Let's just hope this isn't the match we... Uh, no, Ernest Miller was the match we put him in last week. Yeah. Yeah, last week he had the cat. And then let's do a promo where uh, Justin Incredible comes out and makes an open challenge. Talking about how he needs to be on TV more. And Jeff Hardy's like, oh, you want to be on TV? Let's be on TV together. Bada boom, man, man. <laughs> uh, you want to run the, uh, whoops. The Royal Rumble highlight video or the preview video? I was actually going to say some of Joe's video, but, uh. Yeah, we could do that too. Um, no, it should be should be menacing. Small Joe coming soon to the green brand. Um We'll be like making a video of Joe like choking people out and stuff. Mm hmm. Makes sense. Um. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we don't have to worry about, you know, the, uh. Uh. The, you know. Storytelling? No, this. I think it's the sex appeal percentage because I turned off that. Like, I went to the user preferences and turned it off so we don't have to worry about that. Because that was a problem with SmackDown where we actually had to book Tori Wilson or Nydia or Sable in a match. And I don't know about you, but none of them really do anything good for the women's division. I agree. No offense to Nydia. She knows. She, she knows does. She, she does. She has Let's to. Let's do uh, um, Shannon Moore. Shannon Moore and Scotty? What's that? Shannon Moore versus Scotty? Yeah, that works. Wait, are they both faces? Maybe not. Yeah, they're both faces. Let's do Scotty and Akio, maybe? Uh, Scotty and Akio happened last week. Oh, damn it. They're so interchangeable. Uh, Ernest Miller? Shannon Moore and Akio? Sure, why not? As long as Shannon Moore goes over. Yeah, because we'll probably get an email if he doesn't saying What's he's... What's his name? The, um... The Failure? The reject. 
Uh, another great TNA creation. Wasn't that WWE? I think it was when he came to WWE when he came back from TNA. I don't know. Let's go with this one here. Um. This is a garbage feud. Pretty much, yeah. But we could probably get. I can actually occupy time today on uh, on the show just for the sake of occupying time on the B show because who really cares what occupies time on the B show it's true okay Tori you can work you can work without a script And then uh, Nidia could be given a promo on Tori with Josh and just to test the different things. And Nidia wants to be in Nidia scripted. wants to be unscripted? Apparently, yes. What the, who does she think she is? She apparently thinks she's Tori Wilson. Damn, dude, you ain't Tori Wilson, you ain't even a sable. And then I guess Tori and you can face. Let's have him face on SmackDown. Okay. Um. We'll do the promos on Velocity. Uh. Oh, I like him. Have we done anything with him? Not since week one, it looks like. Yeah, not since week one. So let's use Ultimo. We could do Sakota, we could do... Well, is there any other heel jobbers that are better than him? Probably not. I guess Sakota works. Also pays because Sakota hasn't been used since week one either. I bet it was the same match, wasn't it? Did <laughs> um, he win last fight? Oh, you can do that too, match history. No, you fought. Oh, no, he lost the tag match. Yeah, him and Akio with Lundrick. Um, let's push this to the beginning because of um, Akio competing too. Um. Hmm. Um. You want to do um Albert over Orlando Jordan in the main event? Why not? It is velocity. Show. That's a decent match. Yeah. Should just let the game pick to see if uh, to, <laughs> to see if Orlando Jordan would win. Huh? Nothing All like right. a sixty opener on the uh, on the B show with a uh, jabber match. Completely unexpected, in my opinion. Well, so Dragon got a good fifty-nine. Yeah. There you go, Tori. I hate Nidia. She's trailer trash. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, that was bad. That's so bad. We gotta do some. We gotta do some Nakamura videos and take them off TV or something. And that's why he's on the B show. <laughs> that's true. There you go, Joe. Fifty-five. And that's why it was rated on menacing. Speaking of a 55, we get another 55. <laughs> oh, you know what? Actually, this should have been invented. What were we thinking? Oh, well. 47. That's around what I thought Ultimo Dragon and Sakota would have gotten, but 
Yeah. Good to see Shannon Moore at least get one win. She's like, I hate Tori Wilson. I hate you too, Josh. <laughs> and so Jeff. Well, it crapped out. I mean, uh, Justin, just incredible crapped out. But Jeff Hardy was good again. Yeah, Jeff Hardy didn't, didn't do drugs. Yeah, so that's that's good. Um, and A Train and Orlando. What? Oh, oh, we should change it. Oh, well. Ah, whatever. Who cares, Orlando Jordan? 59. No, not bad. I mean, if we want to, you know, play the card of which match should have been invented. <laughs> Ultimo Dragon against Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. Um, hold up. Uh, what did we do, uh, last week? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Brock Lesnar and Rikishi. What a main event to SmackDown. <laughs> hey, man, it, it features his, his, uh, his power. Um, oh, yeah, and we kicked off uh, Jeff Hardy versus The Big Show. Uh, Bradshaw right, and Charlie let's, Haas. Let's have the Big Show uh, cut a promo of Jeff Hardy tonight. And we opened with a cruiserweight title match, uh, Ray and Tajiri. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that works. We'll just have Jeff Hardy. We'll just have Big Show tell you know Jeff Hardy, stand up my business. You know, if I want to destroy Shannon Moore and and make an example out of him to the locker room, then you are you know you're nothing and whatever. Oh uh, yeah. Speaking of somebody, well, I don't want to say. Who, somebody who isn't good at what they're doing uh before we get things going tonight on Smackdown I think it may pay to change this oh yes that's a very good idea uh I guess occasional wrestler works and then we'll just do auto push later or go see what they suggest what do you suggest for Mr. Ken Shamrock, a referee? Oh, they suggest a referee. So, also, Kurt Angle and Ken Shamrock actually wasn't a feud yet. Well, that's good. <laughs> Is Kurt Angle in a feud? No. Like no. Speaking of people in, not in a feud... Actually, it doesn't even... If we're only doing it to the Rumble, it probably doesn't even pay to put them in the feud. No, they're in a feud, aren't they? Yeah, the, but the Bastrooms aren't a part of the feud. No, they're not? No, because they were in developmental. <laughs> Whatever. And if we're only doing it until Royal Rumble, then it doesn't really pay to put them in it. Um... Which, has Eddie been doing drugs? I don't remember. No. Okay, good. Just RVD? Yeah, pretty much. Um, Chavo. Oh, Chavo was booked in an angle last week. That's, that's, that's what confused me. Yeah, he was booked in an angle last week and then matches two weeks ago. I mean, match two weeks ago and three weeks ago. So let's do a tag team match. No, because we can't make him lose a tag match because Eddie's a main eventer. This is such a lopsided feud. Well, I mean, I was thinking about letting him win because he's 0-2. Okay, yeah, we'll let him win a tag match and they'll still argue. Um, okay, since, but since we're here... Oh, it's, it's Ron Simmons, that's why the other half of the um, finals to the tag team tournament exactly well do you want to play the card that Bradshaw won so Shelton wins or do you want yeah let's have Shelton win I like my 50-50 booking 
Uh, we could probably let them open. Oh wait, we said tag team match. Shabo and Eddie. Uh. I mean, as far as putting the Italians over, that can't happen, but... That's true. And let's do an angle where the, uh, the winners argue or something. They have one. Well, do we... We can always... Okay, we're gonna have to... Oh, yeah. Chavo's turn heel, then. Or Eddie has turn heel. Well, no, the, uh, the feud was Chavo was getting jealous. I mean, what we could do is he could just act like a heel and not turn heel because I don't know if turning him heel would actually get, you know, him, you know, pissed off at us because he hasn't, because he just turned heel and, I mean, just turned baby face and, you know, if it might not get over well because he just turned, you know. Yeah. You know, the big show thing. <laughs> That works. Well, okay. So, uh, adding, I'll start adding angles in a second. Uh, we can start adding angles in a second. Um, let me just one more match before we start adding angles. Um, well, actually, do you want to do a contract signing tonight, too? Or? Yeah, totally. Brock and Hardcore? Sure. Uh, Shabo and Eddie. And then we can give... Actually, we... Actually, it might pay to have... Shabo and Eddie not made a vent. I mean, not open... Uh... It may pay to have Shabu and Eddie open so we can give. Because I don't know. Uh, would the interviews with the APA and World's Greatest be better off before their match or after it? Uh, probably before. So then we can have Eddie and Shabu open. Um, let's bring, um, oh, um, what happened last week with him? Oh, he didn't compete let's last do, week. Just for, just for uh, the fun of it, let's do a Landstorm versus Kurt Angle match. With the fact that probably I... nothing Kurt up to anyway, probably nothing at the moment, right? Well, I th think it might be fifty-fifty that we have him in the rumble. In or win? Win. Okay, I'm down for Kurt to win the rumble. Yeah, me too. Especially if it means him and Brock go to WrestleMania against each other. Yeah. Um. As far as plate, as far as placement goes, that works for you, right? With Lance yeah, and Kurt being there. We're gonna we're, let's keep Kurt Angle towards the middle right now, so we can make him a uh, like a sleeper in the rumble. Um. Okay, so actually, this will be the main event of the focus, the main event focus of the show in a couple of weeks. Yeah, that's a that's a good point. We could actually, um, hmm. We could actually do this. 
You like okay. the angle when we bring in uh, Ken Shamrock to be uh, like with Brock and Paul? That's kind of like an enforcer. I mean, not that Brock needs an enforcer, but it'd be a good match for Kurt Angle to go through in February. That could be. That could work. Well, if this uh, could give somebody a match against Ray, do you think... Uh, yeah, let's do this at the Rumble against Ray. Well, you mind booking Dragon twice, or...? No, I'm fine with it, as long as he doesn't complain. Well, I guess I mean, we... He might complain, but whatever. I guess we can let he's him... Off the next, he's off the next five days after this. Because then we can book that... Who's going over in that match? Uh, Dragon. Dragon Ray at the Rumble? That works. Okay. Um, then it would be Charlie Haas. It's true, though. I mean, if you get a 60 on Velocity, you deserve a match on SmackDown. That's true. Can't imagine how good he'll do with... Um, when it's not Jake Christ or whoever. Who, I don't remember who you fought. I can't imagine how... Good, he'll do with Jamie Noble and um, whatever the heck his name is. Let's, let's push that down here. Push this over here, and then pull Brock over this because you know Brock. Brock doesn't need to talk. And then we introduce Mr. Shamrock. Well, let's wait, what, let's introduce Shamrock. Should we introduce him now? Or, or after the rumble? I guess after. Yeah, let's, let's do it now. Okay. Yeah, we can do it now. And then Bob Holly would be off screen because they're still feuding. You have to make sure Shamrock's marked as a heel. He is. Okay. And then we can still. Oh, and this could also be where Paul announces the uh, the contract signing for later tonight with Brock and Hardcore. Let's make uh, Brock and Shamrock open the show. That works. Um, what about a heated confrontation between the two teams since we after Benjamin and uh, Ron's match. Yeah, you can do that. That's good. You know, and it gives the announcers an opportunity to build up the finals at the Rumble. Uh, speaking of that, we... Just to differentiate... Uh, just to... Yeah, okay. Do we have anything for Jericho and Benoit on the show yet? No, right? Not yet, no. Alright. I mean, I figure one of them could be in the main event. Yeah, that's true. Because you don't want to book... Uh, I mean, you could book Hardcore Holly tonight, but there, it's really unnecessary to book Brock. We could do a tag team match where Jericho and Benoit each have a partner. Um, What's other big feud that we have? I mean, if um, if you don't mind, we can do Matt Hardy and Val Venus. Uh, let's see. Can, yeah, maybe not. Well, oh, I would make sure. If if you're cool with it, we could do Big oh. Show, Big Show and Jericho. Big Show and Jericho. Versus uh, Jeff Hardy and Benoit. Let's do um, Jeff Hardy versus Chris Benoit one on one. I mean, that could headline, to be honest. Yeah, main event. Either that or Jericho and Cena could headline. Uh, let's save Cena. Is he right? Um. Um, Benoit. There we go. Um, 
Jeff gets rewarded. Jeff gets the main event of SmackDown. Yep. And Benoit goes over, right? Benoit definitely goes over. Let's have uh, Jericho jump him after the match. This is going into, of course, their WrestleMania match. I mean, uh, Royal Rumble, rather. Uh, so we just need basically the upper part of, uh, you know, the back end of the upper part of the show. Uh, we need something with John Cena, too. Um, Let's just do a John Cena promo. I'd be on the Rumble. That works. Rikishi and Rhino? No, because then Rikishi's a job. Oh, who could do the job to Rhino tonight? I mean, if we need... Uh... Well... And then we could give Rhino a match? Yeah, that'll work. Just, you know, to... I guess, pull Rikishi back after his... You know, after putting over, um... What's his name last week? Putting over Brock in the main event last week? Yeah. Uh, well, we might just—it might just be better, just you know, pre-recorded thing like Cena's, like one of those videos where. Oh, like a hype video, yeah. Yeah, and it's just Cena. That works. Like pre-recorded. Uh, above, uh, oh no, yeah, that's the right. That's the right one. Never mind. Um, we may have to get. Oh, would you, Funaki against Rhino? Oh. Okay, good. Oops. There we go. Wait, you put the hardcore title on the line. The hardcore title hasn't existed in about three years. Or <laughs> two years. I don't know why I thought they used hardcore <laughs> champion right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even blame it on 95, because they don't even have it in 95. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Oh, do you want it to be where the guys are min success, so they help them in the feud? Wait, wait, what now? Do you want it to help them in the feud? Uh. Oh crap! Yeah, we probably should. Probably should. It doesn't really doesn't really matter because Brock hasn't really apparently done much. Yeah, but Brock is Brock. He's a star. Hardcore or pull microphone mid success. Mm, six minutes. Storytelling. How's the show look? pretty good. Oh, go to roster and make make a uh, Heyman uh, Ken Shamrock's manager. That works. No, no, not you done. Holy. And then we'll make uh, Shamrock versus Angle at the next pay per view. To kind of build up the main event to WrestleMania. Just, uh, just so we don't forget. Yeah, don't book it yet. Yeah. Just so we don't forget. Yeah, we're giving the, you know, the people an ins. Oh. Tell me I didn't book it at the next paper at the pay per view after Mania. Hey, what does that matter? What matter? Oh, because the pictures. Uh, no, I. I. Booked it at a pay per view, apparently. Oh, I guess I had it booked at the Rumble. Um, 
I don't know why, but yeah, instead of booking a few, that's what happened. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's start. Let's kick the show off. Sounds good. We booked that really fast. Well, I guess it's helping that we know what's going on now and yeah, where yeah. we want to go. Yeah, yeah, like it, it's getting easier as we go. Okay. So Paul Heyman announces uh, the newest Paul Heyman guy and Ken Shamrock's, I mean, Brock Lesnar's close personal friend, Ken Shamrock. He's here to watch the backs of Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar. Yep. Yep. So Hardcore Holly, that means no funny business from you, buddy. That means Hardcore Holly is not going to get his revenge. <laughs> huh. That Eddie and Shaw. Yeah. I mean, then again, Eddie got a freaking 91. Jesus. Holy yeah. moly. <laughs> um, All right, we can put Eddie in a tough few. Maybe uh, after Jericho Benoit, we can go Eddie Guerrero, uh, one of those two. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's true. Because he's doing he's doing main event performances with travel. <laughs> exactly, it's with travel. So Chavo basically turns heel, you know, Los Guerreros implodes, and Chavo basically turns heel, and so on and so forth. But it's too soon to turn him heel officially, so we just turn him heel in in principle. What does make Chavo get mad? Yeah. And she was like, well, you know, Jim Hardy said my business. Yeah. We loved using Josh Matthews as an uh, interviewer. I think we use him as an interviewer on Raw, too. <laughs> He's so good. Yeah. <laughs> as we build up for the Royal Rumble and later tonight, Ultimo. 60 in ring performance and pulls out at 59 with Nunzio and Jamie Noble. Not bad, not bad. And we'll go on to the Royal Rumble the face. Actually, yeah, 74, look at that. Yeah, another 87. Yeah, another surprisingly good match. I didn't expect the Guerreros to do that good with the Italians, and I didn't expect Angle to do this good with Lance Storm. This is like a dream match right here. <laughs> yeah, next dream match is Jericho and Lance Storm. <laughs> and we continue Ron Simmons and Bradshaw as Ron Simmons faces Benjamin later tonight. And, I mean, I don't know if it's in the camera view... Uh, because I, how I work it with TEW is because TEW doesn't take up the entire camera, I mean the entire screen, I, I just do it where people, you know, all you see is TEW and you don't see my desktop, uh, so that means, you know, in the bottom road agent report section you can't see everything, uh, and the only reason why I'm bringing this up because as I want to mention, uh, uh, what's the feud? Caden Jindrak and the APA. It's not that we forgot about that feud. It's that... We don't care about that feud. <laughs> <laughs> it's that, you know, basically, we know where we're going with it, and I actually could have probably booked the APA versus Caden Jindrak for No Way Out, but... Uh... It's not really an important feud right now. And speaking of it, not really important feuds, Ron Simmons and Shelton change Benjamin. Change directions at the last minute with the tag team stuff. That's all. We just kind of changed directions and we didn't really um, tag the feuds accordingly. Yeah. Because now well, that after I'm... After the Royal Rumble, we're going to have a lot more fun. Well, now that I'm thinking about it, it might be it might pay to put the put the belts on Bradshaw and Farouk if they're in if they're going to be in a feud and Benjamin and Haas aren't that's true and see one thing I like about us booking by the seat of our pants is like 
we don't really know who's going to walk out as Cruiserweight Champion until we're like, who should win this match? That, we don't know who's going to walk out as Tag Team Champions. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the best way we could do it is wait till the Rumble. Let's see who we feel like putting over. Let's <laughs> <laughs> sit by the pool. Uh, Benjamin and Simmons have great chemistry, and it showed with the 69. Hated confrontation as Michael Cole and Taz put over the main event. I mean, not. Well, if the Royal Rumble main event was East Four, then we get a problem. Uh, they put over the tag team finals, tag team title finals. Yeah. And now we move forward as we give Rikishi a win. Wow, I don't know about you, but I'm. I mean, if Rikishi consistently does that, then he might, you know, 67 in-ring performance? That's not bad. Yeah, that's not that great. I mean, for Rikishi, it is. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's average, and, you know, he could put up a good match against the Big Show if, you know, like I'm thinking of, like, a mid-card, if we want to, you know, give him a couple wins to put him against Big Show or something or you know yeah totally thank you Cena <laughs> 85 we should do something with him too yeah yeah screw Rikishi let's put him against Big <laughs> let's put Cena against Big Show <laughs> well we can give him the US title yeah, yeah somehow huh. why does that sound familiar <laughs> <laughs> I think he wins at WrestleMania, right? In real life. Yeah, he actually did beat Big Show for it at, look, look, in real you're life. Talking about Rikishi, look at Rhino, seventy-three. Uh, Rhino versus Rikishi. <laughs> like seventy-three for Rhino, like that's good for him. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I also th think that Rhino hasn't lost this year so far. So, and no, we we won't count the Royal Rumble as a loss. Can you click on his picture and see his uh, profile or no? Um, no. Oh, okay. We can check it off camera. Yeah, we can check it later. Yeah. Oh, good, good match. Oh, Ben Wall got hurt. Wait, what happened? Oh, no, he defeated Jeff Hardy. I just had just located. I'm like, no. <laughs> this was a good match right here. Ben Wall stepped it up. Yeah. But I have a funny feeling that I know the reason why. Jeff Hardy's poor, poor performance. Don't say it. Yeah. Oh, thank no, God. It doesn't look like it. Thank God. And the cameraman puts down the camera, and takes off his shirt. It's Chris Jericho. <laughs> Chris Jericho was acting as a cameraman the whole time. <laughs> That's probably something Jericho would. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it probably is what he would do. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand why Jericho and Benoit never feuded in WWE. They did, a little bit. Like that ladder match that they had at the Royal Rumble. Uh, yeah, but I think... What year was that? I don't know. Uh, might have been before his feud with... I think it was 2001 Royal Rumble. So it might have no been, it might have been before Benoit's yeah, feud with Angle. And they, they were tag team for a while. They just never really had that big feud. Yeah. And the main event. The contract signing between Brock and Bob Holly. Just the idea that... <laughs> just the idea... Put it in perspective that Bob Holly's challenging for the WWE title. <laughs> no, that's one reason why I want to get the Rumble over with. I don't know what we do with Bob Holly though, going forward. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I remember what we were going to do with him. I don't want to say it. I think that I might not that that I may have a match for Rhino with no way out, <laughs> yep. and it would lead Rhino winning. Yay! <laughs> we also thought of another feud for Bob Holly uh, with the Royal Rumble returnee. Uh, we probably did, but I just don't remember it. <laughs> That's okay. It'll be, it'll be a chart buster. 
and that could probably be Bob Holly's last feud with us because after that he'd probably want to leave. <laughs> Especially if he has to put over Bill Ding. who knows me and my issues with SmackDown I never actually do good booking SmackDown so the I'm idea I'm here for some good ideas like Rhino versus uh, Funaki so the idea that I'm actually gaining popularity when I'm booking SmackDown actually you know is a good thing yeah it definitely is a good thing yeah so especially when SmackDown has all this talent yeah you know, we're, uh... Ben Wall, Jericho, Jeff Hardy, John Cena, was good as tag team, Kurt Angle, Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, we gotta so keep, uh... His nephew. We gotta keep, uh, SmackDown... The greatness of SmackDown alive after, you know, the SmackDown 6. Cause... Oh, the SmackDown 12. Cause I think at this point, Edge would return to Raw when he comes back. Yeah, I think Raw could use them more. Yeah. But then again, Christian's on Raw. We want to keep him separated. Well, we can always... keep him separated. Uh, if that's the case, we can always just move Smack to, uh, move Christian to SmackDown. Oh, yeah, we could do like a storyline where there's a trade. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, we need 20. And then we could always do the feud with Jericho and uh, Christian. Because Jericho and Christian actually feud going into WrestleMania 20. But that's not going to happen this time around. That would be good. Yeah. And then that would leave Benoit and Eddie. Yes, Benoit, Benoit's a babyface, though, I think, and so is Eddie. Yeah, it could be, you know, uh, sort of the same as Ray and Eddie, uh, which, you know, yes, later led to Eddie turning heel. But does Eddie ever really turn heel? <laughs> we could do a heel Eddie Guerrero. I don't see anything wrong with that. In fact, if we do a heel Eddie Guerrero, and eventually he goes over Benoit, uh, maybe down the road, like a SummerSlam, we could do uh, Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle for the title if Kurt Angle wins at WrestleMania. I mean, I wouldn't mind... I mean, I'm already thinking Eddie's winning the title for Angle, but... At SummerSlam? Are <laughs> thinking SummerSlam? <laughs> Well, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind putting Eddie over. I, I would love yeah, seeing Eddie as world either. champ. It's much better than awesome. Bob Holly. <laughs> and Eddie hasn't been doing drugs. He's been doing good. Exactly. His performance is good. I mean, you know, in uh, what an angle, eighty-seven. I mean, an eighty-seven in-ring performance from Angle now against Lance Storm and a ninety-one with Eddie. I can't imagine how good SummerSlam would be. You know, and plus, we don't have to keep the title on him for a long time. He could drop it back to Angle at, like, no way, uh... Survivor Series or whatever. Survivor Series or No Mercy or something like that. Yeah. Well... Let's try to slip a class of the champions in there somewhere. Either side, I mean, just because it's a cool name and they brought it back and everything. Yeah, that works. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind switching it out for Bad Blood. Like, uh... Getting rid of bad blood and putting cl the clash in there. You know what would be cool though? Uh, maybe uh, later on in the year or early next year, we do uh, Eddie Guerrero as champion and John Cena as U.S. champion, and that could be Clash of the Champions. <laughs> they're both champions. <laughs> but you know what? Though? That would be a good feud though. Uh, Eddie as champion against uh, Cena. Yeah, that's true. Um. And then who knows? Maybe down the road we can even turn Jericho babyface or whatever. I mean, there's a million people. We could even bring up Chavo and have Chavo get a title match if Eddie Guerrero's champion later in the year. I'm sure we could do a one-off on SmackDown and do Eddie versus Chavo for the title. That's true. That's true. Because I think even if we turn it Eddie heel, which I think I would rather keep Angle babyface and turn Eddie heel. I think that would be... Yeah, I think Jeff, uh, Eddie would be more interesting as a heel. There's more people for him to, to, to go against on the, on the babyface side. And then I also think that turning him back early next year would number one be possible and number two 
be actually very realistic because, you know, Eddie doesn't stay healed that long, especially at this point in his career. Yeah, because they love him. Yeah. Well, even though I would love to give all you viewers uh, another, uh, keep giving you all this insight into what we have planned for the future of this Let's Play series, it's that time again to say goodbye, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this that you can only find right here at Wrestling Express. Till next time. See you at the Rumble. Oh. Uh.